Pirates, we are back here inside of this storage right here. I bought this the other day for $12.60. No, no. It was $2,100 on this one. We have not gone through it. We are going to see what we have in this storage unit. We are going to load it and we are going to get out of here. I went through a couple boxes. They were books. There was some art. There's some furniture back there. But anyway, let's get started. All right. Pampered Chef. Let's go. Aqua 1941. I'm just going to try to go through this as fast as I can today, guys. Show you a little bit and then move on. I don't know what's going to be in any of these boxes. They're so oddly packed. Look at that. Okay. Yearbook. Yep. 77th anniversary. 56. We got Artemisia. And that's a whole box out of the store, guys. That look like very much of anything. A lot of this Alameda. Definitely gonna set that there. Those are canvases. This is gonna go. That's for Stockton. These. There's a lot of paintings in here. Roy M. Wood. All right. Roy M. Wood, 1950. All right. Susan's baseball cards. All right, all right, Susan. What you got here? Some tops. Those are. Those, I can just see right off the bat. No offense, but I can just tell when the cards are are not going to be solid collector cards. They're just your boring '80s '80s tops. Now this right here. Come on. Hmm. It's the '80s. She got into it at the wrong time. But that doesn't mean that somewhere is some better ones. We'll see. They always ask me, how do you know it's gold? How do you know it's silver? Same way I know when I see the sides of these cars that I'm just looking at basic boring year tops and and FLIR that are not gonna be worth almost nothing. But I'll still set them aside and I'll still try to get something out of them. Wow. Man, this is horribly loaded. Horribly. Horribly. Logan. Oh wow. This is friggin' nuts. This is quarter style. I can't even. It just got me frustrated. Just staring at this gives me anxiety. Everything is just thrown in. Like six items. Seven items. Just thrown in there. Not even a ton of stuff. This is God. That's how Uncle Michael used to pack when we were trying to move this. Yeah. Guys, this is looking kind of scary. All freaking trash. Yeah, so this is what this box is looking like, guys. Literally, trash. Alright, well, this is the first almost intriguing box I'm going on. 15 minutes now and now it doesn't look that intriguing as it did when I first it said old photos I open it up and it's just personal photos oh. yeah that's not intriguing at all I like guys we're back to non-intriguing boxes here what's this high center ooh wait a minute center file fire cartridges come on gun where are you at, 30-06? I don't own a 30-06, and I could use one. And that was hella weird, because that was a box of... Was that Grandpa's 30-06 bullets there? Were those just... I don't know. Unique. All right, a little bit of cute art here. It says, April Showers, Margaret Consuelig. And that's a nice little etching. Something to definitely be looked at. What do we have here? What do we have here? A watercolor. That is a nicely done watercolor there. March Banks, Long Beach, California. And I'm going to have to check a little more into that because I don't know. Look, look, there's a signature there. But that looks like a good one. 
couple pieces of art guys but i really don't know if we have anything or if we just got art you know what i mean like it's looks to be the style the person likes um here's the apple and oranges i don't see a signature on it but it could be just the person's art too it's one two three nesting tables there a little bit of almost modern danish style here let's see what the bottom says nope it's got the teak look though that's going to stockton hey we got an azuki azuki century with the wall i bet you i used to drive this thing right here when i was younger too it needs a little bit of tire work right here but bikes are kind of hot so i'm taking this to alameda hopefully gonna ask 50 bucks on that maybe 75. gonna play this one by ear we'll see we'll see how it goes i'm not sure free spirit now this is a box that intrigues me when i open it up let's see let's see what we got here I like vintage shirts and I, ooh, oh my gosh, look at that, Snow White on ice. Oh, I bet you Jess dibs that, guys, what do you think? Comment below if you think Jess is going to dibs that one. Oh my, look at that, this looks like something from the, six, the 70s or 80s right here. All right, a little excitement coming out of this unit, because why? This is the money. They are kind of small, but vintage clothes, that's what's hot in the streets right now. People love this stuff. So now we have a little bit of heat, a little bit of fire. Ride on, let's go, ride on, get it. This doesn't look very intriguing, but let's see what it is. All right, a little nightgown, a little nighty. I'll run this whole box on my whatnot show, most likely. Looks like good tags. You see the jersey tags right there? Oh, here we go, look at this. Look at this baby right here, ugly team. Gotta have at least one fan out there, right? Los Angeles Dodgers. What's this say? San Juan Senior Class, okay. I like this. Families, yes. Okay, that's a good little box of shirts. Finally, we have something to write home about here. This one says Barbie toys. Can it be something good for once? Can it be something great for once in this 2100? Okay, all right, I am digging it. I am digging this. We'll use this for something else. Guys, I think we hit a little jackpot here. Watch this. Watch what we have here. Bum, bum, bum. Is that beach can? It is beach can, huh? Look at him. Let's see what else we can pull out of here. Let's see what else we can pull out of here. Okay. Don's doll case. That's kind of cool. We're going to run this all on our whatnot, guys. We will definitely run this all on our whatnot. We got a couch. Oh, look at this. She got modern Danish furniture. Barbie's modern Danish furniture. All right. Look at this case. Wow. 1968. I wasn't even born. I'd be willing to bet this is the same exact case Uncle Michael had in 1968 for his Barbies. That's pretty tight. What do you guys That's think? Good stuff. This is, I think this is the, I was just telling everybody, I think this is the same case you used for your Barbies back in no, the I had a can. You had can. We have cans in here. Look at that. You know what's money? It's stuff like this. Look at this, the vintage clothes. You want your Barbie to dress in vintage clothes? Dang. This is gonna be a little bit of money on whatnot. Pickers Warehouse, comment below if I have any, uh, you're an expert on Barbie clothes. Comment below if I have any money clothes here, please. A little plant right there. Look at these little Barbie sleeping yoga mats right here. That's kind of cool. At least I got some type of jackpot coming back in this storage unit, guys. Stratosphere Chicago. That looks like a nice piece of suitcase right there. We'll look at that later. I'm going to take that to Alameda. We're getting back here, guys. Like I said, the back half, you already know, it gets down to just furniture in here. I'm hoping there's going to be some type of gems hidden somewhere in here. Nonetheless, the furniture is going to be cool. We still got a handful of boxes to go. And... Whatever the hell that is. Now, the thing that has had me excited about this unit is when I came and looked last time, I saw these. And this right here screams money to me. What do I see when I look at this chair? Modern Danish, right? But look right here. See where it connects like that? That's kind of rare. That makes me think, oh, and you look at the back, you see this type of pattern? This is not your normal type of chair. I seem to have a whole set of these, but I don't know. All I know is I could tell you that these seem like they're going to be some form of value here. I don't know what, but they could be, could be good. They could be good. 
Look at these. What do you all think when you see this? You see $1,000 set, $2,000 set. What are you thinking? Susan's Unicorns, eh? That's what this really is. Not bad. Looks like we got a set of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. six. Ooh, we got a bunch. Uh, I'll probably run these and whatnot for sure. This is definitely not Alameda. I'm not sure. We well, you know. We know. I don't do eBay anymore. But for sure, gonna run these on our whatnot. What do you guys think about these Princeton Gallery unicorns? Where's the value lie in these? Here's where we might get lucky, is on some vintage Tupperware. I don't know a lot about vintage Tupperware, but I have a, I have a feeling there's a market for it like anything. Everybody wants the vintage, right? And this is very vintage. What do you think? Should I whatnot or Alameda these? Because I also noticed, look, Suzanne's Tupperware, Tupperware, Tupperware. Yeah. I, it's very organized for this storage unit, wouldn't you guys say? Um, still, got a lot to go. Susan's war stuff, holy gosh, jumping Jehoshaphat's. What could be in Susan's war stuff? look in the boxes no more it's like uh crap where is the good stuff this is the reality of many storage unions most of the ones i buy they cost a lot of money and people wonder why and i lose quite often and then every now and then i do hit on some of them but look radish dishes pottery four coffee mugs christmas coffee mugs and pots and pans that's what a person saves. Look at that paperwork. And that is what is in most of these boxes. So please understand that just because you see somebody hit big on a storage unit, also understand people lose big. Literally sticks and twigs and maybe a piece of soap. And yeah. Wine colored card table cover. All right. Reader's Digest, Subconscious Religion, yikes, where's the money? Paper dog? Oh, okay, paper doll, looks like a whole box of paper dolls. Um, we'll break this all out on our auction. Now, the moment we've all been waiting for, what the hell was under here? What was it? It's a dresser. All right, it's kind of cute. Let's hope for something a little different. Kind of modernish looking. I still will take that to Alameda, but it's not the style that I was hoping for, for sure. Ooh, looks like we got some more shirts for an auction, maybe. All right, we'll set that aside. If y'all enjoy stuff like this, like look, there's some vintage, more vintage clothes. Looks kind of cool. Look, there's a Taz shirt. Oh, wow. Another one. Okay. I'm setting all this aside for my whatnot. So you definitely want to come there. It could already be done. You guys might miss it, actually, because I'll be doing that before the show comes out. Um, we're getting back here. A lot of empty space back here. Really weird the way people load. All right, so that looks like a kind of cool chair, guys. Very modern Danish sheet. Could use a little polishing up. I'm hoping that's some money because, you know, it is a little tough inside of this storage unit that's a pretty nice piece right here guys what do you think we're getting into some modern danish furniture i think we have some pieces i don't know what i'm going to ask for this but i don't know what do you think something like that is going to go for these are pretty nice right here what do you guys think about these lamps what am i i'm seeing that being a pair so that's kind of tight and i'm seeing this being these might be a little bit of money just for each one of those we think a hundred a piece It's a nice sofa. It definitely needs to be repaired a little bit. But I think that's that's money in Alameda. That's the money. And we got another one here. And some type of ottoman. And we're getting down to it. Something here. Susan's printer box. Okay. 
All right, Pirates, we are getting her done here. Like I said, that's a cool chair. I don't know, that's a couple hundred bucks. This one I'm definitely taking to Alameda. It sucks, it's flat right here, but that is the business. That's the style, the material. This right here is a little dilapidated. I'm gonna run it, because I got it. These chairs are actually pretty nice, but they're in bad shape. Look at this, this one looks like an old beat up baseball glove. And there's four of them like that, right? There, only one of them is great and tack. But I can bet you I could still get close to a hundred bucks a piece because somebody will fix those and sell them for a thousand bucks. This chair set, luckily, this is good. I think I could still pull off a thousand bucks for one, two, three, four chairs and a dining table. I'm hoping so. That's a nice table worth a hundred. We have a slew of art. I don't think any of it's real valuable, but I'll show you some more in the flea market video at Alameda. I definitely think we'll make some money on this store, Gina, but it is not worth uh, the 2000 I swung the bat on plus time, expenses, et cetera, et cetera. It'll be some form of profit, but not very much, and time is money, you know what I mean? A lot more Tupperware, that's what's here. You can see it kind of. I didn't show you guys each piece by piece because I just, I, I just kind of like to be a little silly, show you every piece of Tupperware. But in here is Susan's Tupperware, Susan's Longenberger pieces, which was only like two or three, and um, some vintage clothes. Oh, these were kind of neat. Let's see. Let's see what we have here. Maybe you guys will come watch our whatnot and you'll see all this stuff. But look at that. Postcard collection. Photos, black and white. And there's another one there. That's kind of tight, so come see all that. Ooh, Pyrus, I'm back at the warehouse. That unit was dusty, dirty. There was very minimal treasure, and it was just dusty and dirty. We're right here building, putting, I'm putting everything, like, there was, this says antique utensils, it wasn't antique. I'm putting all the Tupperware, clothes, etc., etc., aside, and we are gonna do that all on the whatnot coming up. If you guys want, come check out my whatnot. That's where I'll probably just run all that, buy the box, buy the item, whatever. We still got stuff coming everywhere. The truck is full, Michael's a full, and we got stuff from units everywhere. If you guys enjoyed this video, like, share, share something pretty. Ha <laughs> ha